What's going on guys, my name is John, and welcome back to another video. I want to quickly thank everyone who liked my last video, the support was absolutely insane and I appreciate all the feedback that I received on the video. If you have any suggestions on what videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below on what videos you'd like for me to do next. I hope you enjoy! Hey guys, when it comes to thinking of difficult parts in Pokemon Gold and Silver, one of the most popular answers is fighting Whitney in a broken milk tank. Today, I'm going to show you a quick way to defeat her without having to use the usual methods most people use. Now, the solution that I found to be the most effective may seem a bit obvious, but I believe that many people overlook this method. Before I battle her, I purchase X items to make it infinitely easier. Now, before you bring the downvotes, hear me out. While this may seem obvious, I feel like many people overlook the fact that zero training is needed to use this method. Many people will keep fighting her until they gain enough XP to defeat her, or grind high enough levels to withstand a hit. By the time you've defeated her, you've used all of your money from losing. You also save a ridiculous amount of time considering that I accomplished this on the very first two tries that I took with this method. Whitney's team consists of two Pokémon, a Clefairy and her infamous Miltank. We're going to abuse the fact that she sends out her Clefairy first in our favor. To make the situation difficult for myself, I made my team as vulnerable as possible. I only used one Pokémon being a male Quilava, which is arguably the worst starter matchup because it can be affected by Attract on both Pokémon and it's super affected by Rollout. To purchase the X items, you want to go to the Pokémart in Goldenrod City. On the third floor, they'll sell X Special for 350 Pokécoins. This is your best option for a few reasons. First off, all starters start off with a Stab Special move. Using any other move wouldn't be as effective. Second, they're cheaper than X Attack. In my case, I purchased three X Specials as well as an X Defend, just in case. I'd like to point out when I first started the fight against her, I was level 23, and I'm super confident with this method that you could be under this level and still have a very smooth time. Whitney should lead the battle with a Clefairy. If she doesn't, soft reset the game until she does. This isn't necessary, but it will make the battle much more easy. On your first three turns, use the X specials in your bag. Clefairy shouldn't cause much trouble. It has the moveset of Encore, Mimic, Double Slap, and Metronome. By the time that I'd used all of my battle items to knock it out, I'd only taken 16 points of damage. When Whitney sends out her mill tank, you'll have completely set up your starter. Your stab special move should do over half HP, and the only move you should really need to worry about is using Attract. Even if she succeeds, use Super Potions as necessary to ensure that you will take her down. If you're using Quilava, you can actually set up smoke screens if you're in a tight pinch to increase your chances of missing a move. Alright, well if you guys thought the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it's greatly appreciated. This video is more intended for players who might not know all the mechanics in Pokemon games, and to be honest, these items aren't commonly used because of how easy the beginning of the game is in comparison. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any recommendations on what videos you'd want me to make, leave a comment below. Now, these ideas don't have to be specific to tutorials or glitches in Pokemon, but I'd like to keep them Pokemon related. Alright, well thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day!